Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I will guide you about pointers. C Sharp also support pointers in a limited context. A pointer is noth nothing but a variable that holds the memory address of an other type. But in C Sharp, pointer can only be declared to hold the memory address of value types and array. Unlike reference types, Pointer types are not tracked by default garbage collection mechanism. For the same reason, pointers are not allowed to point to a reference type or even to a structure type which contain a reference type value. We can say that pointer can point to only unmanaged type which include all basic data types, enum types, other pointer types and struct which contain only unmanaged data type. To declare the pointer, we have to use the return type, static, and the name of the variable which we want to create a pointer like int, static, and p. So p become the pointer. In C Sharp, to play with pointer, we have to declare the class as unsafe and <coughs> it will be fine. By this, you can play with a pointer. Now, here I will give address p to something like, or I will say that. Here is the int x is equal to 100. So by this we have given the address value to p. Now use console.write line and pass the p to check what's the value is there. So we have to use as this. Okay. Now execute. So it show the value of x containing on that address okay containing on that address and if we will use and sign with this uh, sorry it will not compile we have to pass the type here as int so it will show us the address of x which it's saved and when we will used static here instead of data type it will show us that on this address the hundred is exist so 1784 is the address close and execute again and addresses automatically get changed each time I am executing the program because the address is saved on our RAM laptop or computer RAMs and uh, whenever we will close the program the RAM will uh, clean up the memory and when again the program is execute RAM will allocate a value or a memory space again to this variable that's why the address of x variable is changed time by time whenever we will be execute our program we can also store multiple addresses within a pointer like here i will copy paste it and name it as y and change its value to 100 to 10 uh, 200 and pass the value of y to p again so the what happened how we can access it first execute as it is so the value is 200 because the last in value will be on the top of pointer to access that we can consider pointer as array so the value on zero index 
let's check the value on zero index and one index and also on two index so the value on index zero which is the top most of pointer is 200 and the value of one index is 100 which contain the value of the first data and the value of two contain the address of x okay address of x and if we will execute the index 3 so what it will give us it will give us 0 because pointer have space within that which you can access whenever you will assign a value if you will not assign a value and try to extract from the pointer the default value will be the zero or null i hope this video tutorial is informative for you regarding c sharp pointers if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel take care